All right, so I woke up this morning. I got to replace my water heater. It's leaking all in the laundry room. Just spent about 500 bucks. Man, this is crazy. So I had to go get another water hose because my water hose is not long enough to drain this thing into the pool. So I'm gonna drain the old one into the pool, get that out the way. I just I just bought the big one right there. Just went and bought that one. You know, I had to go get my, my water softener, my salt and all my shits back there. It's behind that seat right there. But I saw something cool at Home Depot. There's a guy out front selling hot dogs. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna give me a free hot dog with my AR. Okay, so there's the hot dogs right there. I'm gonna see if I can get a, a free hot dog with my AR. Because I know the higher your AR, the freer the hot dogs get. So I'm about to find out. See what we can do. What's good, my brother? Hey, Over here fixing stuff. Just wanted to see if I can get me a hot dog, man. Now I'm an Uber driver. My AR is like 15%. Can I get a free hot dog with a low AR? <laughs> You're like, what the hell's an AR? Yeah, <laughs> hey, the higher your AR is, you get free hot dogs. I'm just kidding. Uh, apparently it don't work everywhere. It only works at 7-Eleven. It don't work everywhere. Yeah, we're not up there yet. Oh, they said we ain't up there yet. Forget that. It's like we, we don't hang with them over drivers. <laughs> yeah, I'll take a... Give me a regular. I'll take a regular. That'll work. That'll work. Oh, uh, some mustard and ketchup will work. That'll work. Hook it up, brother. Hook it up. Oh, yeah, if you, if you get a certain AR, they give you, like, a free hot dog or something. So these drivers is out here taking, like, shit rides, like, $3 rides all day. I'm like, dude, just go buy you a hot dog. <laughs> shit, I thought I had more cash in here. I'm going to have to use my card. Yeah, I'm like, dude, just go buy you a fucking hot dog, man. What are you doing? Yeah, exactly, man, but it's free. So you're going to sit there and tank, like, about $60 worth of gas doing bullshit rides to go get you a $5 hot dog. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. I'll give you that, but no problem, man. All right. Oh, no, no. I got something in the car. I'm good, brother. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, man. I appreciate it. Now, we always leave tips. I tell people tips is appreciate his energy, man. Yeah, man, you got to. Because, like I said, a lot of people don't understand about energy. They always like, oh yeah, man, we don't we don't got to tip nobody. I'm like, you don't have to. It's not Im it's not imperative, but yeah. it's it's just tra transferring energy, man. That's all you're doing. That's, man. Back, That's right, brother. That's right. Yeah, all right, brother. Thank you, my man. Thank you. All right, man. Oh, cool, cool. I'm gonna need those. Yeah, I gotta go fix a water heater, man. Right. This is about to be fun. All right, brother. You yeah, have a good day, my man. Thanks a lot, dog. And don't get them free, don't get them high AR people, no free, charge them extra. <laughs> Tell them drive smarter. <laughs> yeah, here we go. All right, I got my hot dog. Look at that. Ooh, that looks good, don't it? That thing looks good. It's got onions on it, everything. It's about to be hooked up real quick. Got to get it back in my car. Like I said, nobody, nobody does the free, the high AR hot dog shit. I think it's only at 7-Eleven. So, yeah. So for all you AR people out there. So for all you high AR drivers out there, if you go to Home Depot and they got the hot dog thing at Home Depot, you, you've got to buy it. It costs money. Look at that, man. All them onions and everything like that. It's $5 hot dog. $5. I gave him a $2 tip, though. Just because I feel like if I tip him two bucks, that might be my good energy to do this water heater real easy. That's me giving to the universe saying, hey, universe, I'm taking care of people. Can you please, please make this water water heater repair easy? That's it. Just make it easy for me, man. And plus, you guys be tipping me in super chats all the time. So it's like you pass me energy. I pass it to guys like him. You know, he's sitting there trying to have his great day. So it's all of us sharing that energy with each other. So I appreciate y'all. About to fuck up this hot dog, and it ain't free. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty good. That was a good hot dog right there. I think that was worth five bucks. I never put onions on my hot dog, but I think I might have to start putting onions on it. That was a good-ass hot dog. Hey, Home Depot, y'all motherfuckers is hooking shit up, man. I appreciate that. Alright, here's the nightmare back here. This is where my leak was happening. Back on the back side. Let me move this broom out the way. Back on his backside, you see that big split? That's where the leak was happening, right there. We were looking at the water heater like this. It was leaking from all back here. That huge bulge in the bottom, that's the piece that, like I said, it's supposed to be streamlined like this all the way down. 
it bulged and started leaking right where it rusted at the bottom. So you can see it's rust all around the bottom of this tank. So we must have been doing it for a little while. I don't know how long, but I just went and bought this hose so I can hook this hose to there. But yeah, I'm replacing all of this down here. That was sediment from when I opened that earlier. That's some of the stuff out the bottom. They say you should leak your tank out every year because if you don't, that's what settles in the bottom. So every year you should drain your tank and refill it because that stuff settles in there. And, and I've had this house for what, four years and I haven't done it yet. I got the mop right here soaking up anything that leaks out so it don't come out of this little spout because it's been leaking over here. I had to pull up one of these floorboards because look at that's leaking all over here. It's like, man, this is my lid to my, my pool crap. I got to draw all this stuff out over here. Man, this is going to be a mess. But it's time to replace it. This is what we do. And the box is empty. So where is it? There it is, right there. We're in the mix. Installed and everything. Ready to rock and roll. Looks a lot better. I said I got some um, some uh, Teflon tape around here. Get that piece off. Just to make sure it doesn't leak anywhere. I'm going to come back and check on it in a second. I got my power all hooked up, but I don't have it turned on yet. So you got to wait until this fills up. Once this fills up, you make sure there's no leaks nowhere, everything else. Then you can go back to the house and turn your power on. But for right now, like I said, it's in there. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. And I had to use the same thing over. So you can see like the rusted part right there. So, yep, looks pretty good. Man, look at that. All brand new. Because it was super rusted all around the bottom of that last one. So this one, like I said, this thing should last another good six, seven years. Let's see. I love it. I love it. It was a lot easier than working on a BMW, I'll tell you that much. Wednesday night. Shoot, what is it? 8 30 almost. Yeah, about 8 30. Let's see how much gas I got in this car. Oh, uh, the last time I drove was like what Saturday, so still got damn near a full tank of gas. Let's pop up. Yep, 8.24, almost a full tank of gas. I'm just below, probably about an eighth of a tank down. So that's what I end up with what after Saturday. So not too bad, not too bad. So it's time to get in this car and see what we can do to make some money tonight. Let's turn on the ragged ass apps. Let's see, we'll kick Uber on real quick. Make sure we're off of Paw Patrol. What are we on? Uh, not that. Uh, let's see what we got. Uber Pet. All right, let's go on Uber X. Let's move over to Lyft. Turn on Lyft. See what we got over here on this side of the earthquake, the equator. See what we got on this side of the equator. Man. 50 what 53 drivers at the airport you gotta be and all these people are sitting online right now this is nuts they're all sitting online Seven thousand passengers are flying in all these drivers are sitting online right now at the airport and there's no surge nowhere how are you ever going to create surge when you've got over 50 something drivers just sitting at the airport you're not going to create surge look at that man Seven thousand passengers landed at 8 p.m Another three landing at nine, then another 4,200 at 10. Yeah, they're not, nah, ain't nobody. 10 drivers on Excumber, so that right there is 33. So you got 33 drivers on that side. And how many you got over here? 33 and, dang, 47. Yeesh, 33 and 47. What is Uber talking about? It's probably Uber Eats. Let's see what we got. Told you, Uber Eats, told you, man, 353. All right, McDonald's. Baseline, no, no, well, that's way too far. 20 minutes for 353. Now, you do that what three times an hour? Yeah, you're probably getting about ten dollars an hour for that. So, we don't want no 10 bucks an hour. They, they crazy for that. But yeah, they got you know all these drivers in at the airport right now, about 70 drivers at the airport, and they ain't no surge whatsoever. And everybody's just sitting online. But that's a game right there. Yeah, the Nets versus the Sun, they got a game going on tonight, 8 30. Man, it is horrible out there. Horrible. 8.30 and it ain't no surge nowhere. Not even down to Queen Creek. Way up to Cave Creek. Let's see. Here's Cave Creek way up here. That's Cave Creek. Dove Ranch and all that. Nope. No surge at Cave Creek. There's Cave Creek up there. Nobody. Because it's Wednesday. There's probably nobody out doing nothing right now anyways. And then you got way down here in the, the southeast part. You got Queen Creek. There's no surge down there either. Usually I look in those two areas just to see if there's anything going on on the outskirts. So far, nope. 
Man, this is crazy, crazy. Definitely turning lift off. I don't want to mess with them. Definitely not. Uh, Uber Eats got something jumping off right now. Perhaps. Let's turn on Uber Eats real quick. Let's turn on some deliveries. Let's see what happens with deliveries. They're probably going to give me a Jack in the Box or McDonald's. They'll probably give me Jack in the Box or McDonald's. Because they notorious for some shit like that. They'll see you like in an area and they're like, ooh, ooh, let's send him some Jack in the Box. Let's get him some Jack in the Crack. Give him some old soggy tacos. See if he'll drop those motherfuckers off for us. Tropical smoothies. Uh, nah, $2.39. Nah, that's, they don't want that shit bad enough. For $2.39, these are little cheap ass people sitting around playing on their fucking telephones. Well, I'm going to see about, ooh, I just got to pay $2.39. What about a tip? Nope, we don't got to put a tip on there. And I know some people say, well, they might give you a tip afterwards. Yeah, and they might not. If you agree for $239, that's what these motherfuckers are gonna pay. $239. Because they're cheap like that. So if you don't, if you want to try give somebody two dollars, look at that. McDonald's. Around the corner of McDonald's. Two, nah, nah, hell no. Two dollars. If you if you paying people two dollars, three dollars to bring you something. And you can't do a tip? Nah, get off your ass, get in your car, and go get it yourself. Save yourself the $2.88. Because that's all we fucking getting. Save yourself that. Go get your food so you ain't hungry no more. Because for $2.88, that shit can sit. It's not worth time. Oh, but it's a dollar amount. It ain't worth no fucking time. You're paying for convenience. This is a luxury. You're paying for convenience. If you don't want somebody to go get the shit, keep just leaving the tips off. And if they say, oh, well, we got to tip you afterwards, then you get your motherfucking food afterwards. After I finish doing ride share and after I finish making enough fucking money, you get your food afterwards. If it's fucking five o'clock in the morning when you get this dusty ass hamburger, that's when you're going to get this money. It's 830 right now. You might get this hamburger by 5 a.m. If you ain't going to put no motherfucking tip on it, guess what? You'll get it afterwards. Motherfuckers like to say, well, you get the tip afterwards. You'll get your burger afterwards then, motherfucker. That's how we're going to play that shit. Man, I can't believe these people, man. They straight up out here got these motherfuckers driving around for $2.88 and shit in the middle of the night. Man, it's like, nah, I'm cool on that shit. No, no, no. We ain't doing it like that. Because I'm an easygoing person, but I'm one of those people I understand convenience and I understand people's, you know, lifestyle. I'm not going to sit there and, and think I'm getting over on somebody. Ooh, I'm going to get this delivered for like $2.88. <laughs> I'm getting it delivered cheap. Yeah, yeah. Well, you ain't getting it delivered. You need to get up off your ass and go take a go take a hike. Go get that motherfucker yourself. Start the car up. If your car don't start, jump start the motherfucker. Figure it out. Get that shit up to McDonald's. Save yourself two dollars and eighty eight cent, or however much you fucking paid. Save yourself that much. Because if that's all you can afford, yeah, this this is not a service for you. Probably you still got to do some you know some footwork to your life to get your shit up. Because these services need to be reserved for people with money. It's too many broke motherfuckers using like apps right now. Way too many broke people using the apps. And they really think they boss level and shit. They sit on Instagram, I'm a boss bitch, yeah. They sit on Instagram, I'm a boss, I'm a, I'm a player, I'm a young king. Motherfucker, you got $2.88. You ain't no fucking king. Come on, man. Get up off your ass and go get that fucking food. These motherfuckers always got to, you know, sit on the internet and acting like they somebody they not. Like, no. Look at that, two fifteen for some Sonic. Ain't no motherfucking way. Two dollars no, no, fuck that. Cause you do that shit, you fuck around and be making like eight dollars an hour delivering to fucking boss bitches and kings. I'm gonna make eight dollars an hour delivering to some bulk boss bitches and some kings. Yeah, no, doubt it. They gonna get that shit theyself. It's like we don't do that shit, man. We don't do that. That's that's not cool. That's not cool. This, these services need to be reserved for people that got money. If you barely on your last fucking dime and you ain't got no money, save your money. Go get that shit yourself. Save your fucking money. It's like, because you don't have enough to afford these type of services. I wouldn't do that shit to myself. I wouldn't do that shit to somebody else I knew that was out there, you know, trying to make a living, trying to do something. I got these motherfuckers ripping and running on their own gas, their own cars, fucking their cars up for, for $8 an hour. I'm doing somebody like that. They ain't even motherfucking minimum wage in some places. And you got people doing that shit, running out of gas, hitting potholes, fucking curb checking shit for $8 an hour. And you know what these motherfuckers say? Well, if you didn't want to do it, then don't do it. Exactly. You right. You fucking right. I agree with you on that shit. Which is why that shit sits where it sits most of the time. Well, don't nobody fuck with that shit. And everybody need to do that. If you ain't got no surge and you ain't got no bonus and no quest and no shit like that going, leave this shit sitting where it is. 
It ain't enough money on it. Let these apps know. Look at that. Four dollars for what? Uh, four miles. No, nah, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. I mean, these people need to realize, man, we're not out here just because we ain't got shit else to do. There's other ways we can make money. There's other things we can do. So if you can't, you know, sweeten the fucking deal up, and we know, especially tonight, that motherfucker probably paid about $12 for that ride, and I'm getting like four sixty four out of the $12. So I'm not, they, they, the apps probably kept like seven thirty. So I'm like, no, nah, if, if the apps are keeping more of the money, they need to get somebody to hop off that fucking laptop and come pick you up. Because it's like, we're not doing this shit for cheap. We ain't out here fucking, you know, skimping through the night. No, nah, fuck that. We got to make money. We got shit to do. And I'm one of those people that, that I firmly believe in, and you know, a fair price for things. But we ain't seeing a whole lot of fair prices right now. We're seeing a whole bunch of weird shit going on. So a lot of us are just not driving, declining a lot of rides, canceling rides. We're doing shit the smart way. We're not going to be out here fucking around, you know, damaging these cars and shit for pennies on a dollar. We're not doing that. I'm going to turn this little parking lot right here. I got to do something to my windshield wipers real quick. Do something to my windshield wipers. $2.59. That, I think they just sent that already. $2.59 for some tropical smoothie? No. We don't do that. And what, $5.17 right behind it for some water burger? No, we don't do that either. These motherfuckers is nuts. Hold up for a second. I think it was something stuck in my windshield wiper. Oh, yeah, a little bit better, but not a lot. Uh, what do we got in the trip radar? 291. Well, they got a whole bunch of shitty-ass Uber Eats stuff going on. Man. Like, these these deliveries ain't even less than $3. It's like, what kind of inconvenient shit is that? It's like, these we're doing this as a convenience. Whataburger, 447. Whataburger's right across the street from me. And they want me to pick that up and take that down. And, no, cool. I'm cool. And Whataburger's like directly in front of my car. People say, man, just do it. Just, no, no, I'm not just doing shit. It's like, I'm not fucking it up for, for the drivers that deserve a little bit more. And like Whataburger is directly across the street from me. But then it's like, you got to take it way down there. I don't feel like getting out of my car and shit for that. It's like, nope, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm waiting on something a little bit better. For, nah, nah. That's another one. You know what? Let's just turn all this shit off real quick. We're cool right now. Let's turn all this shit off. And I'm going to go fucking... Nope, not updating. Still not updating. Fuck y'all. Go chill somewhere for a minute. Okay, I'm sitting over in Mesa right now. I'm just kind of hanging out, not doing shit. And these are all the rides I'm seeing right here. Look at that. They don't tell me nothing. No, 421 for 5. No, nah, I'm cool on that shit. Nope. This is what they're going to try to do. I can see what they're already doing. And here's one there. That Mason one, they didn't have a beginning or end to it. But they're, I want to see the map of where I'm going. Damn, that's way the hell up to the casino. Uber X share going up to the casino. No, nah, I'm cool on that. Y'all know exactly. That's going to Casino Arizona. And it's like, I'm not taking nobody way up there. Nah, nah. And so my head's toward the airport. I'll take them. But all this shit, though. Arizona Mills. Yeah, the Arizona Mills, I could take somebody over there, but not for 534, I can't. That's the problem. Look at all these things. Look, 486, 4.85. Man, these are low AR. These things should be at least over four nines. And so you can tell that these people probably don't even tip. They mad as hell. And I'm looking at some of these. Wait, let me see if they give me a different rate. Hold up. Because there is a little surge way over here. 450. Look at that. That's going back to Tempe. So for 550 for like seven and a half miles, nah. Like I said, there's really nothing going on tonight. That they got a surge way over there. They got something going on downtown, but that's about it. This Wednesday night is dead. Sitting downtown Phoenix. The game's about to let out. So I'm sitting down here now. I got goose eggs on both apps. Ain't been nothing out. So I just kind of left everything alone. As you can see, Lyft's got a little bit of surge, but these trips aren't really worth shit. See, watch, I'm gonna turn this on and you'll see. So the surge just jumped. I don't know, man. Seven miles, I'm not doing that. It's too far. Let's go back over here real quick. UberX. Um, no, nah, not for $7. I don't even think I have UberX on. Let me go over here real quick. Uber Pet. Let's put it on Uber Pet for a second. Let's see what Lip is talking about. Uh, 19 miles for $18. Doubt it. We're not going that far. 425 bonus. Looking for anything short. Anything under 
let's say five miles. Anything under five miles I'll take. At 425, 13 is too far. 11 miles, yeah, we're not doing that. We're looking for something under five miles. Under five miles, I'll take it. Right now, they're going to try to nature hike the hell out of me right now. Uber, there's nothing on Uber. So, what's that? It's five miles. No, that's eight miles total. Nope, because it's three miles away. No, I can't do that. It's a little bit too far away. So, we're going to kind of hang out and wait to see if we can get something a little bit closer. <clears throat> if, it, if it's within, within five miles of total, I'll do it. I don't know. That's almost eight miles, too. We're not doing that either. Uh, like I said, we got Uber over here. They don't have any surge. I'm going to turn Uber off. There's no surge yet. Let's kind of kick them out of the equation. Still not updating. I don't want to mess with that update yet. Let's see what else they got going. Because right now, like I said, with this game letting out, $13 for like 11 miles, I can't do that either. So, you know, like I said, I'd rather just take Google. I went back home for a second. After I sat down in Mesa for a minute, there was nothing out. I just went back home. There was nothing out. So let's see what I can do downtown right now. And I almost didn't come, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to make something Wednesday night. Let me make at least 50, 60 bucks. Let's do something different. If they give me one ride for like, let's say, if they give me one ride for 50 bucks going for 30 miles, I'll take it. And it'll get me away from here and I'll, nah, that's way too far. I'm, I'm not taking that because I'm thinking that's 30 miles away, which means I got 30 miles to come back. It's like 60 miles. Unless it's going past my house, then that means it's 30 miles that way. Then it's probably about 20 miles back. So it'll be a dollar a mile. Yeah, it's still not good. Not good. We'll see what they got out there. Right now, because I got Uber shut down, they're not going to give me anything. So I need to open Uber back up. I keep forgetting Lyft's like that. Lyft is just raggedy. It's like, if you got Uber open, they'll send you rides. If you got Uber closed, they won't send you shit. So you have to open both apps. Otherwise, Lyft ain't gonna send you shit. This is it's weird how it works, man. It's like people are like, how do you know that? Trust me, I've been driving these apps for a while. The moment you open up, see, like I told you, you open up Uber, you're gonna start getting rides. A uh, thirteen dollars eleven miles? No. Nope. Like if, if I just have Lyft open by itself, I'm not getting any rides. Oh, five dollars. That'll be a nine dollar ride right there. Nope. 23 nope 20 dollars to go that far nah even with a 425 bonus that's not good there was a short ride somewhere let me see there was a little short ride sitting somewhere over here they probably don't want to get that to me because it's way too short 16 dollars to go 17 miles nope we're not doing that said all these lift rides are just straight garbage lift rides they just they don't pay enough they really don't and i know these people are probably pissed off because they don't realize that lift's not making any money you know, Lyft's not paying drivers any money. So therefore, Lyft is, the revenues are going down with Lyft because nobody's driving on Lyft right now. Not that I know of. A few people are, but not as many as it should be. They're just not paying a good money right now. So we kind of booting them out of the mix. Let's see. They probably got a little ride sitting somewhere around here. All right, let's go ahead and open up UberX real quick. See what Uber's got. Lyft's going to send me something because now UberX is running. They're going to say, oh, wait a minute, this dude, he's $13 for 17 miles. Mm, nah, we're good on that shit. We're not going to do that. $11 for about 13 miles? Nope. We're not going to mess with none of this shit. Pretty soon Lyft's going to start back to sending me rides because I'm not taking anything. Uh, five dollars. Nah, look at all these rides. These rides are horrible. Horrible. Look at that. Five dollars for about three miles. Eleven for about thirteen. Yeah, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Not a five dollar ride. It's games down here right now. And most of these people probably won't tip. Even if they do tip, it's probably not worth it. No, nah, we're not doing that either. So we're just going to kick back and relax for a second. Kind of let the surge build up a little bit. I said Uber has no surge. It's all sitting over on Lyft. But Lyft's not sending anything because I'm not taking any rides. Oh, nope, not no nine dollars. Let's go over here real quick. Let's see what they got. Mm, it's up to four fifty. Okay, I see what you're doing. Okay, I see what you're doing. It's probably nothing good. Nope, nothing even ten bucks. Nothing even at ten bucks right now. And everything's like a half mile away because they're just letting that game out. 
Let's turn Uber off again. Nope, not updating. Not gonna touch that update. Now let's see some. Let's see schedule rides. No schedule rides. Yep. Like I said, they're not gonna send me anything because I'm not taking their fucking nature hikes. If they're trying to get me to take 22, 23 miles for $20, and that's what a 450 serves, so that means that's like a $15 ride for like 23 miles. Like, nah, I'm cool. Oh, all the drivers are coming in. They're flying in right now. They're all flying in. Let's see. $8 for that. Oh, three miles, $8, $4.50. Let's take it. Let's take it. Let's see. All right, let's go pick up Carissa at Cornish around the corner. She better be ready because if she's not, sh I'm out of there. I'm out of there. Let's go pick up Carissa. All right, so I dropped them off and I'm headed back down to where I was. Easy drive, real easy drive. Like I said, I just wanted to come back and make sure I got some surge because they're gonna start trying to send trash trips out. And that's not what I'm trying to be on right now. If they're gonna send out trash, I'm not messing with it. This was that quick trip right there. It was just, you know, what, 12 minutes, two miles, $8, easy trip. And it was what, 450 surge on it. 367 so right now i got another trip and i'm thinking i'm sitting on four dollar surge right now so i'm sitting on four dollar surge just waiting on my next trip to hit uh not for no 14 dollars for no 13 miles no we're not doing that like i said i'm downtown right now i just want to do a bunch of short trips if i could do four or five of these you know what make about 40 bucks just doing like little quick trips if i could do four or five trips you know two miles a piece that's about 10 miles i could do, make about 40 dollars in about 10 miles of driving so that's kind of like what I'm trying to do right now. Each one, $8, real short, quick hops. I, I can knock that out. But with what they're trying to send me right now, yeah, they're trying to make it hard. And I'm not doing it. No, no, no nature hikes. No nature hikes at all, period. All right, so I'm going to turn on this little side street right here, set up shop somewhere, and wait till they send me a couple of more good rides. Oh, yeah, $15 to 17 miles. Nope, we're not doing that either. I'm looking for anything short. Hey, guess where I'm back? I'm back by the dust cutter. Hey, hey, I'm passing by the dust cutter. <laughs> That's my sign right there. Cut these dusty motherfuckers. Don't let them in your car. Cut them. Cut them all. <laughs> dust cutter. Yep, rolling right past. That was just by luck of the draw. I didn't try that. I'm looking for somewhere to park. So I'm going to cruise up here and park up here and kind of hang out. But the good thing... We got $12 for like eight miles. No, nah, we're not doing that. And it's with a stop. No, nah, we cool on that shit. We cool on that. So I'm going to try to get up here and park somewhere on the side just to make sure. Ah, come on, man. You motherfuckers. Is... People always be killing me, man. Stop walking around and got the fuck away. No, they pulled that $5 trip because I was going to click on that $5 trip and see what that was about. Cause that was gonna probably be about nine dollars for about three or four miles which would have which it would have worked for me it would have worked all right let's see what they send me let's see what they send me i probably gotta turn uber back on again oh let's turn on ragamuffins hate that shit and that's how these apps act man it's like you need to have both of them on just for one to send you a damn ride it's fucking stupid Right, let's see what kind of raggedy rides they fucking send. Now Lyft is going to hurry up and send me something first. Because they see Uber's on. It's like, oh shit, Uber's on. Hurry up, send him something. No, nah, I'm not doing that. Five, nah, it's almost five, four miles for five bucks almost. Nah, I'm cool. I'm cool. I could do better than that. Let's see what else we got coming down the pipe. It's only 11 o'clock. Ain't no surge. I was oh hell no Taco Bell for two dollars and twenty cent man they out they damn mind it's eleven o'clock almost this is what they trying to include expected tip well don't expect your food how about that motherfucker <laughs> it's like includes expected tip well this includes an expected unexpected delivery motherfucker see you are not getting that food fuck that like man how come ain't nobody bringing my food to me for that price yeah. You can buy me a taco for $220. Let's see what else we got. 
Same trip, saying nobody's taking that trip. Everybody looked at it already, and it keeps is recycling itself back around. Nobody wants it. Looks like some Suns fans coming out the bar. Okay, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. I see you, motherfucker. Those two real quick rides right there, just bam, bam. And here they go trying to send me some shit and take me way out. I'm not taking that, no. Let's look at that. That's $8 for about 10 miles. That's what that is. $8 for about 10 miles. Now, this is what I've been doing right here. These are all $8 trips. But look at it, how many miles I'm going. 2.78 with that one. I think that was the same one for the first one too. And that was another one. Eight. Uh, six dollars for that. No, we're not doing that. It's like six miles. All right, let me see what that first one was. That one was 2.8. So eight dollars for less than three miles on each trip. And now they're trying to do all these nature hikes and shit like $14 to go way the hell out. You know, that's like 21 miles of driving. I don't quite want to do that. So as long as I'm doing these little $8 trips and I'm staying under three miles, I feel okay. I feel like I'm doing all right. I just got to stay in the downtown area. Don't leave downtown. Like I said, that's only my second one. If I do four of those, that's $32. So I could do four of those trips at about almost three miles. You know, that's 12, 12 miles total for about $32. I could do that. So I got to just keep doing the same thing over and over. Don't leave this region. Go back down here. Get this 275 surge. Hope they push it from 275 up to 450 so I get another $8 trip again. And just keep repeating that over and over. I could do that shit all night. $8 a trip. If I do 10 of those at 3 miles, that'll be like 30 miles I'll drive. But I'll get like $80 for 30 miles. I could do it. It just means I can't do shit like this. It's like 15 for 11. Two of those trips, it'll be $22. It'll be 30 miles for $22 when I could do 30 miles and get $80 if I keep doing what I do. So if I did two of those 15 mile trips, that'll be 30 miles total at $11 a piece makes me have $22. When if I do the trips how I've been doing them, I'll get $80 to go 30 miles. So $80 and 32, you know, you're looking at a what? $48 variance. So it's a $48 variance I'll be dealing with. I could lose $48 by taking longer trips to get the same amount of miles. Shit like that. It's about 15 miles for 10 bucks right there. Don't want to do that. Cuz like I said, if I go 30 miles, I get $20. If I do it the way I'm doing it, I could drive 30 miles and get $80. So I got to keep doing it the short way to get that $80. And that's where your your, you know, your profits are coming from. Short miles, not logging a lot of time, not logging a lot of miles on the road, not logging a lot of wear and tear, but you're getting a ton of money for short trips. You can get $80 to go 30 miles versus doing those two two of those 15 mile trips and you're gonna get 20 or $22. I don't want $22, I want $80. So I gotta keep doing it this way. Like I said, it's just a way of putting math together and figuring out how you're gonna do this shit. A lot of people will be like, well, I gotta stay busy. I just gotta stay driving, I gotta stay busy. No, you don't, trust me. You gotta stay profitable. That's business, profitable. Staying busy is employee minded. Because your boss is like, we don't pay you to sit around. We don't pay you to do that. We don't pay you to think. And ride share, you get paid to think. That's the difference. This is one job where you get paid to think. Look at that, $6, six miles. I don't want that. I could do better. I could do $8 for like three miles. I just got to get another short trip again. So in ride share, you get paid to think. You don't get paid to just be busy, be busy. No, fuck that. You get paid to think. Kick back for a second. Relax. Think about what you're doing. Think about why you're doing it. Think about, look at that, $4 for about a mile, I could do that. Because that right there is going to help me get to where I'm trying to get to. So now I got to circle back around. All right, let's turn down this little side street right here. Yeah, but $4, this will be $4 for like one mile, which is cool because that makes $8 for two miles, which is basically what the rate I'm running right now. So you want to keep thinking and taking all these small, short trips all the time. Don't be out there driving these long-ass trips. You don't got to do that to get this money. You really don't. Yeah, I'm sitting right exactly where I should be. I don't see a Justin around anywhere. There's nobody around here, but his icon is right there. So not 100% sure on what I'm going to have to do. So, Justin, you've got approximately 15 seconds. 15 seconds, and I'm pulling off. Let's see, what do we got? What do we got?
I don't know where people are and shit like that. Okay, I'm waiting. Where the hell is this motherfucker at? Oh, he was in a car. Okay, okay. He's getting out of a car. Because I'm like, where the fuck? I don't see nobody outside. All right, he's getting out of a car. There you go. Justin? Yeah. All right, brother. Let's rock and roll. Yeah, this is the kind of shit they're trying to send me right now. Like, all the way to Scott Harbor to pick somebody up and take them four miles for, like, $8. Like, I'm not going to the airport. I'm sitting downtown right now, and they're trying to send me to the airport from downtown to pick up somebody when there's people already downtown. At the airport, I mean. It's like, come on, man. I hate when people walk across the street like that. You get run over. $24 24 miles? Nope. Not even thinking about that. I'm staying downtown. Like I said, I'm already at 20 bucks already. So I'm at 20 bucks, no tips, $3 to go. Uh, no, we're not doing that either. We're not doing no $3 trips, Lip. Sorry, not tonight. You already got me doing $4 trips. Nope, not for 12 either. We're not doing any of these trips, man. Any of these trips. Give me something better. There's no surge out there. That's the problem. There's no surge and they're trying to send me surge and they're trying to send me these trips. They've got to add the surge back. $4 for four miles? Mm, probably not. We're not going to do that one either. Because that one's a little too far out. You know what? I think we're done with surge, so let's just go offline. So, yeah, there we go. There's no surge, so I have to just go offline for a while. Um, hopefully, they'll put surge back. But like, that was that quick trip right there. $4 and I actually went about... I'm turning the corner so I can't look at my phone yet. All right. Yeah, so not even a mile. Four bucks for not even a mile. I love it. I love it. That's how we get down. That's it. And so each one of my trips have been between 3 and $4 a mile. I've done three trips. I'm at $20, and I've driven, let me see, three, six, about seven miles. I've driven about seven miles total for $20. It's not bad, not bad. And what I got to do now is try to find out where am I going to park this motherfucking car at? Right, I'm going to pull over on the side of the road over here and wait till they start throwing surge up. When they throw surge back up again, I'll drive again. But for right now, they don't have nothing. So I'm going to pull over and park right here and just kind of kick back for a little bit. But, yeah. So I'm going to park right here, kick back for a little bit, not do nothing at all until they throw surge back up in the mix. And they got surge everywhere else except where I'm supposed to be. They got surge in Scottsdale, 450 sitting over there. Let's go look at Uber real quick, see what Uber's got. And hopefully they got something jumping. Because if 20 bucks is what my night's going to be, then 20 bucks is what my night's going to be. But I don't drive unless there's something on there. I'm not doing no dollar a mile shit in my car. No, nah, I'm not. We got a little bit going on down here. Let's see something. In a minute, they're going to make me take a picture because I keep jumping offline all the time. They're going to say, take a picture. So, let's... 520 for two miles. Let's do that one. All right, 520 for two miles. If they give it to me. Yep, straight down. Oh shit. It's on motherfucking Jefferson. Damn it. Where are we at? Okay, the Kempton Hotel. All right. I know where I could park in their valet. I know where they are. So that's fine. I could park in their valet and pick up Alex. That's one of the only hotels where I'll go to on Jefferson because you can you can sit in their valet and they let you do it. Those people are pretty cool. All those uh valet drivers, they're cool as shit. Because they get it all the time. They get people getting picked up there, and we're always cruising through, and they be like, oh, it's cool, it's cool. And some idiot sometime will pull into the valet and sit dead center of the fucking valet. We like, dude, no cars can get through if you sit your car dead center. Dumbest shit ever. And that's how you can tell which drivers haven't been down there before. They'll park their shit dead center of the valet. And on, a, on the side of the valet is a curb that drops off. And then you got a big ass uh, metal pole on the other side. So if you sit the car dead center, nobody can go either way. You're fucked. 
So it's like, dude, if you're at the Kempton and you're picking people at the Kempton and you pull in the valet, go all the way to the right, as closest to the curb as you can and sit there so people can come around you to the left and circle around you. That's how you do it at the Kempton. And as long as you do it like that, they don't care. They'll let you keep doing it like that. But the day somebody's going to get into a fight over this shit, that's the day they're going to stop us from doing it. They're going to say no more Uber pickups at the Kempton. You got to go somewhere else. You got to park across the street. You got to park down the street. No more pickup here. Somebody's gonna get the fight in there, and I'm already seeing how it's gonna go down. That raggedy bastard canceled. He canceled, and so now they're trying to send me to Scottsdale. No, not for 10 bucks, I'm not going to Scottsdale. You should have just let me do the trip I was doing. They was paying me $5 to go two miles, and now they're trying to pay me $9 to go like 11 miles. That shit don't make sense. You could pay me $5 to go two miles, that means you could pay me $10 to go four miles. So if I got to go almost, you know, twice that, you could pay me $20 to go to Scottsdale. And they would, I would say, okay, but not for not. You're, you're cutting me in half price right now. That's half price. So I can't do that ride for half price. You're like, nope, don't give it to them. Keep it, save it, save it. Turn up through here real quick. Ooh, no, I'm not picking up there. No, I'm not going all the way to the airport. Hell no. Hell no. Then taking somebody up to Waddell? Nah, I'm cool on that shit. It's like not going to the airport tonight. Sorry. Especially for that little cheap shit y'all trying to do. Nope. Another one not doing it. They got drivers at the airport. There's a reason why these trips ain't going nowhere, man. They're not worth shit. Taking me all the way out to fucking Mesa, way the hell out there for $33. And I live by the airport. So that to me is like 64 miles for $33. I live by the airport. So if I pick up somebody from the airport and take them way out there, then I'm screwed. It's like, nah, I'm cool on that shit. Don't try that on me, dude. Try that on a driver that's look at that. They got drivers at the airport. 10 drivers, at least more than 10, because that's 10 only on live regular. $4, so about four miles. Mmm. Nah, you should have gave me a surge. Hey, I got a five dollar tip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. We're not doing that one anyways. So I'm up to twenty five dollars. Who tipped me? Who tipped me? Oh, sweet. That was the last one. Thank you. Thank you. Fourteen dollars to go to the airport. The sixteen miles. No, nah, we're not doing that. We're not doing it. There's people at the airport already. So I'm not taking my ass way over there where there's already drivers sitting there. Use one of them. Um, $11? Nah, I'm cool on that shit. What is Uber talking about? Probably something to the airport. Mm, nope, 1080 for that? No, nah, Uber. I need to turn Uber off anyway so they don't have nothing going on. Turn them off. I'm not updating. Never update. All right, now I got a little bonus. See, they could have gave me that in a minute. What about that trip? What the fuck is that? $24 to go. No, not with that. Nope, nope. It's like 27 miles. I guess I could have did that other little trip that was around the corner, but that would have been like $5 for like maybe two, three miles. I don't fucking know. They can give me something better. Give me something better. They're not giving me no, like anytime I get a surge, it's like they're not giving me a tip. Like you don't even see my numbers at the top of the screen no more. Where's my, where's my numbers at the top? Where's my total dollars at the top? It's not there. So something's wrong with the app. So I got to close out, pull it back and you'll see my dollars. Now you see my dollars at the top. Now we're in the mix. It's like they sitting there messing with my damn app. They fucking with me. $18. Nah, we're not going to Scottsdale for 18 bucks. No. Like I said, minimum I'll do that for is 20. I'll do it for 20. And that's all the way to the airport, then pick up some money. Yeah. And I got a 325 bonus. All right, what you guys got? If I don't do the 325, what do I got? A 225? Nah, right. either way works. Either way works. What do we got? 325 bonus. If I lose it, so don't send me no shit ride because I don't want to lose this bonus. Do not. I want to keep this bonus, motherfucker. I want to keep it because if you send me a shit trip, I'm going to have to Harriet Tubman this shit, man. I hate to Harriet Tubman these motherfuckers, but I do it all the time. So make sure you send me something short. Four miles, three miles. I'll take that. 
But you send me something like, you know, 22 miles. Mm. 10 miles for $12. Harriet Tubman. Sorry. Like I said, I hate to do that to you, but that's how life goes. That's how life goes. Harriet Tubman part two. That's what we do. Harriet Tubman. Y'all be messing with us. We got to keep these fucking surges on our phone. I don't mess around. $9 for that. $6 up there. I'll take that one, though. Five miles for nine bucks. Wait a minute. No, Harriet Tubman. Yeah, I had to Harriet Tubman that. That's not even $2 a mile. I had to Harriet Tubman that one. I, I can't do that shit. Give me at least $2 a mile and, and we'll talk. Harriet Tubman. And for anybody who don't know what Harriet Tubman is, look in the description of my video and send me an email. All my drivers out there, we know what Harriet Tubman is. We know what we're doing. If you don't know what we're doing, you probably need to be like, dude, what, what the fuck is Harriet Tubman, man? How are you doing that? How are you just not taking these fucking trips, man? How are you doing that? I told you, we share information on, we share education. We're going to help keep money in your fucking pocket. That's what we're doing. If you can't learn something off of this channel, the one thing you will learn is how to keep money in your pocket. That's one thing you will learn is not to let these apps push you around and force you to do shit you don't want to do out of fear or anxiety. Keep this shit in your pocket. Keep that money in your pocket. Sometimes it don't be a $3 bonus. Sometimes it'd be like a $10 surge, $15 bonus. $25 bonus, and they'll try to take it from you. You got a Harriet Tubman that shit. We underground railroad in this motherfucker. We don't we don't talk about anything out in the open that needs to be, you know, kept between us. Like that shit. That's Harriet Tubman right there. So if you're wondering how am I getting all of these trips kicked out of my phone right now, but I'm still keeping my surge on there. Like I said, there's a way we do it. We don't we don't hide shit around here, but what we do is we talk about it in email, not on this fucking channel. We let the engineers figure that shit out if they want to. That's on them. We don't sit around blabbing our fucking mouths on these channels, telling the engineers what we're doing. So they go, oh, we're going to go close that loophole. We just needed somebody to mention it. That's all. We just need On this channel, we don't talk about it. If you somebody who think you know it, cool. I'm glad you do know it. Don't type that shit on my comments. Keep that shit to yourself. Email it to a friend. Don't put that shit in my comments because I'm going to remove your comment. I'm going to take it off my channel because I don't want that shit on my channel. Email it to your friend and tell your friend an email because I email people and let them know an email. This is how you Harriet Tubman this shit. This is what we do. Don't don't ever be anxious over another surge again, ever. Motherfuckers, you, you sitting there getting money and somebody's like, oh shit, I got a $15 surge. I don't want them to send me on a nature hike. Hey, Harriet Tubman, motherfucker. I done told you how to do it, Harriet Tubman. You ain't got to be anxious about it. And that's how we protect each other, how we educate each other and save each other. A lot of people, they don't know how to do that. They don't know how to be on YouTube and keep their fucking mouth shut. They like to, you know, prove that they know so much shit. If they type in all the fucking shit in comments, engineers are looking at it going, oh, that's how they do it. Shut that loophole. I just read on YouTube what these motherfuckers are doing. That's why I don't, don't talk about that shit on my channel. Don't do that. Don't do my channel like that. This ain't no snitch channel. This is an educational channel. You could type that shit on anybody else's fucking channel, but nobody ever going to say, well, they got it off of Jeff's channel. No, they didn't because I delete all them fucking comments. I keep that shit off my channel. Talk about that shit and email to me. You can email me back and forth. You could text message that shit to somebody, whatever. But don't sit up there. Don't use my channel as no snitch channel. We don't do that. We help drivers over here. We don't try to prove, oh, man. Look at how great it is that, that I know what this is doing. And I'm going to say this and I'm going to say that. Look, I know. No, nah, don't do that shit over here. You could be as smart as you want to be. Cool. I'm glad you're smart. Very glad you're smart. But you don't have to prove how smart you are by putting all of our Harriet Tubman shit out in the open like that. You don't got to do that. It's like you didn't see motherfuckers trying to them slaves trying to be smart around Harriet Tubman. Hey, we know where the Underground Railroad is. Let us come show you. This is where it is. Let me show you where the Underground Railroad is. Follow me. Just follow me. They ain't do that shit. They talk to each other in secret. Hey, man, this is what we're going to do this weekend. Check this shit out. They talk to motherfuckers in secret. They keep that shit under wraps. So once it's under wraps, everybody can use it. Everybody can benefit from it. But it's always the blabbermouths. 
that want to prove how smart they are and start typing that shit in everybody's comments. Hey, guys, this is what you can do. This is all he's doing. Man, shut the fuck up. Shut up. Don't do that. That shit's not cool. You ain't welcome in a fucking group doing that. We don't do that shit around here. Email it to a friend. Say, hey, if you want me to tell you, I'll tell you. Just email me. See, I could do that. that. That's close enough. And it's not too far. I could do that right there. So, got to go pick up Johnny on the spot. Where's that at? The Homeless ID Project looking ass motherfucker? Where are we at? Where are we at? Way over here. Circle the city. Where is that at? Brian something welcome center. He's way in another fucking part of the building. Central Arizona Shelter Services. Are you fucking serious? Am I going to have to take my motherfucking car down to this goddamn area again? Ah, Lord. Let's see what we going to do. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. Half the time these guys are down there working and shit, and they need a ride from work, you know, up to home. I, I do this shit all the fucking time. These guys be getting off work and be like, man, nobody want to come pick us up. Me, I'll come pick you up. I don't give a fuck. I knock people out for a living. Let's go. Yeah, that was a cool brother right there. We was talking about betting. He was like, yeah, man, I bet, you know, on the Suns game, and I lost my money. <laughs> I was like, shit. He said, I ain't believe Brooklyn won, man. I bet against Brooklyn. I ain't believe Brooklyn won. We was cracking up laughing. Yeah, some cool brothers like that. He was just getting off work, headed to the house. I was like, bet, bet. He was like, man, I'm glad. I said, uh, I was like, man, how many times, how long did it take you to get a ride? How many times did you have to request a ride? Is it just once? He was like, as soon as I requested, you like picked it up, I guess. I was like, damn, that's what's up. I said, usually, man, downtown, not a lot of motherfuckers pick up rides because they, you know, they're not worth nothing. I had a surge with it. That was the only reason why I took it. I had a surge. Look at that. Man, that's crazy. $10 for like going all the way to Tempe? No, nah, I'm not doing that. And that's from way, I'm on the other side of downtown. So they paying me to go downtown, pick up somebody, then go to Tempe for 10 bucks. Usually when I am downtown, I go to Tempe for 15 I'm on this side of downtown. I was like, no, nah, man, I'm on the west side of downtown. You ain't not give me no 10 bucks. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. Keep that. Whoever that is can sit down there and chill for a minute. As a matter of fact, let me turn this motherfucker off because I ain't got no surge anyways. No. Turn that shit off. I ain't got no surge anyways. So now, 33 bucks out of four rides. Like I said, each ride, and that one right there was another one. Like I said, it was four miles, $8, $2 a mile almost. So everything I'm doing is about $2 a mile. Just hopefully, man, one tip, one little five. And that's the only one that didn't have a ride bonus on. You see that shit? Whenever I get a ride bonus, I don't get a tip. Whenever you get a ride bonus, you're not going to get, even though these rides were all good, you don't see no tip on there. I think they're making the tips ride bonuses. That's what they're doing. These raggedy motherfuckers, man. Then the moment I don't get a ride bonus, oh, we'll give you a little $5 tip. Yeah, ragamuffin motherfuckers. They out here stealing our goddamn tips, man. That shit don't make no fucking sense. Downtown, I just did this little quick ride, not even a mile. I was actually sitting on the corner next to him. Him and his girl that from Cincinnati, they were trying to get home. And it was like, I was sitting by the corner. So I was like, okay. So I just grabbed them, brought them around. That was done. That was it. They gave me a $5 tip for a $3 ride. I was like, I couldn't say no. They was basically probably looking dead at my car when they booked the ride. <laughs> so I was like... Didn't do. They were so cool. They just gave me a five dollar tip. I was like, perfect. That'll work. That'll work. So eight dollars for not even a mile. And I'm swear I was literally like down like a block, half a block away probably. As soon as I saw the ride, it was like that Native Wings thing where I was like, where am I at? And I was sitting right next to it. That's kind of how this ride was. I saw the ride. I was. It was like zero point two miles. I was like, okay, quarter of a mile away for like less than a mile ride. I was like, it was three dollars. I was like, okay, it's basically three dollars for a mile. I was like, all right, I'll do it. So I hit go, and it showed me like it had me going all the way around the corner because it had me facing the wrong way. But I was like, but they're right there. So I went down, made a U-turn, went back, picked them up real quick. Bam, there, got them to the house. Man, eight dollars for basically a mile. Man, I'm I'm doing some little smart trips down here, and that was Uber. That's my only ride on Uber today. Eight dollars and six cents, but it was for one mile. So I did the $8 for a mile on Lyft. I've been doing, you know, two, three dollars a mile, shit like that, four dollars a mile on a couple of my Lyft rides. But so I got eight dollars over here. Then over here I got 33. So I've made $41 so far. 41 bucks. 
and I ain't even driving no mileage. That was like one mile. And then here are my trips over here. So that was one. Here's a trip here. That was 4.3, so I'm at 5.3. Then go down here to my next one from 5.3 to another mile, so 6.3. Let's say we're at 6.3. Then we're gonna go to here. Then that's about, let's say nine. No, that's about 10. That'll be 10. All right, that's 10 because 6.3 and 2.0 is 10. And then here, so about 13. So about 13 miles, and I've made $41 in 13 miles so far. So that's all I've done is kind of hang downtown. 13 miles, $41. Not bad, not bad. But that's the thing though. They're not really sending me any good shit right now. And like I said, Lyft won't give me any tips as long as I got Surge. I think they're supplementing my Surge for a tip. So, oh, what is this? What is this? What do we got? $11 to go too far to the west. Not going out that way. Definitely not. It's too far west. So, basically, as long as it ain't no surge down there, let's turn this off real quick. All right, no updates. I'm not updating. So, Lyft won't give me any of my damn tips unless I don't have a surge. So, I kind of figured that part out. They're like, oh, no, no. If they give him a $3 tip and he's got a $3 surge, his tip is his surge. Fucking take, keep that tip in your pocket. Motherfucker ragged ass. So I'm gonna cruise over here, take a break for a second. Like I said, wipe the car down a little bit. I haven't really driven anywhere. What if? Wipe the car down real quick and see if I can pick up some rides in a minute. What rides I wanted to do last night, and that's what I came out to. They ended up giving me a tip, a $2 tip down at the bottom and a $5 tip at the top. That was my very first ride, that $2 tip right there. These girls, they were pretty cool. Now, I think they tipped me more, but I don't think the app gave me the tip. That's the whole thing. So I ended up the night with $35 instead of $31 or something like that. It was all right. It was a decent night. But, man, they were just 1130. I called it good. It was just getting way too slow.